According to surveys that I've seen, the average age of your typical British motorhomer is somewhere in the late 50s or even early 60s. So, what's he doing here? It's a young person. Hi. Hello. My name's Andy. Okay, I'm Rich. How, How do you do, you? Rich? Nice now to look, meet you. I've seen you looking at motorhomes. Are you thinking of buying one? Yeah, well, I want to go on a trip with my girlfriend around Scotland, and uh, yeah, motorhomes got to be the way. Do you know anything about motorhomes? No, actually, caravans. Have you ever been in a caravan? No, never so been. So you in really either. are starting from scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, basically, the roads aren't great up there, and I'm not the most confident driver. I mean, I've driven a bit, but not loads. So something that would be easy to drive, but my girlfriend has to wash her hair every day, so she wants to okay. shower. So something like that would be great. Right. Now you've been having a look at these motorhomes here. Have you seen anything that takes your fancy? Um, yeah, well, this one obviously looks a bit big, uh, but kind of it looks like it's got some nice um, facilities in there. So something around that would work. Have you been me. inside any? No. Have you found out about the engines or the gearboxes, the chassis? Haven't even thought about it. <laughs> right. So we really are yeah, starting, starting from, from absolute scratch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To be honest, it sounds like. I don't you know what I'm a, doing. <laughs> you, you need a bit of help. Yeah. Now, I do know a little bit about motorhomes. Would you like me to help you out? That would be advice? amazing. Yeah, yeah, really okay. helpful. Well, look, Rich, bear with me. Just give me a little while. I'll see what I can do. Stay there. Don't go away. Ah, an auto sleeper symbol. I reckon this could be just the thing. Now I think that not having driven a motorhome before, Rich is going to find this really easy to drive. It's only a medium wheelbase van, so it's not that much bigger really than a decent sized car. The steering's really light, the engine is very responsive, it's got a six-speed gearbox. And to my mind, one of the best things is it's got air suspension, which means that on roads like this, and particularly when you're going round roundabouts or the sort of curves that you find in Scottish glens and hillsides, it really feels very safe and comfortable. It's got a 2.2-litre engine and 130 brake horsepower gives ample power. So on the road, I reckon the symbol has performed pretty jolly well. Now then, this actually has the upgrade option, which means that uh, you get daytime driving lights on the van, you get alloy wheels, you get a nice two-lay awning and you get lots more inside. So here we are and it's nice and bright and airy. First thing I notice actually is that auto sleepers have changed the colour of the wood finish. It used to be much darker and to be honest I wasn't that keen on it. I much prefer this because it makes the whole thing a lot lighter. Now then, Rich and his girlfriend are going to go to Scotland. What's the weather going to be like? Well, we have no idea. But if it's really sunny and hot, they're going to be able to take advantage of the fact that this van has really nicely tinted windows, which are going to keep the heat down inside. And if, unfortunately, it's cold and wet and horrible, I'm sure it won't be, but just in case it is, hey, don't worry, Rich, because there's a really nice Truma combination heater boiler in here with blown air heating so you can just switch it on and keep nice and cozy and your girlfriend can have lots of hot showers as well and because of the built-in gas tank the 20 litre 20 litres of gas that's in there you're not going to have to worry about it for a week two or even more right now I understand that Rich's girlfriend is very keen on cooking so she's going to love the kitchen We've got a, just a typical hob here with these nice little stainless steel bits to stop stuff splashing about. And if she's anything like me, she's going to appreciate having a microwave. 
There's a good little sink here with a built-in draining board, which is a nice touch. And of course, underneath, you've got an oven and a grill with the essential accessories. There's a decent sized fridge over here. And when the time comes to actually eat the food, then they're gonna have two choices. There's a little table which goes here in this hole if they want to just stop for tea and biscuits, but for more serious eating and for games of Scrabble afterwards, there's a bigger table which clips in place just behind the door there and sits right here. Now, what about the bathroom? Because I know that Rich's girlfriend is dead keen on showers. Well, let's have a look. Well, it's only a small van, of course, but it's a very decent sized shower room and toilet. Got a nice Dometic toilet here, really modern, electric flush, all that sort of thing. So she'll love that. And what about the shower? Well, yeah, I think that's a decent enough shower for anyone. And plenty of mirrors so that she can look lovely first thing in the morning, every day of the holiday. So I reckon the shower's fine. What about storage? Well, there's lots of storage under here, under there. Decent sized wardrobe, lots of shelves and some lockers there, more lockers and space underneath both seats. So I think she'll be happy about that. I think Rich will be as well. He can bung all his stuff in this locker over the cab. One aspect of the storage that uh, Rich is gonna love is this, look, space purpose made for four bottles of whiskey. Yummy, yummy, yummy. What about sleeping arrangements? Okay, well, you've got a choice of two. Two singles, one here, and another one here. This one's quite short. This one is kind of normal size. But if that's still not suitable, then by simply pulling this out here, you get a really good sized double bed. Okay, well, I've had a good look around. I think it's time to go and see what Rich thinks of it all. Rich, look! Oh yeah? Stop! Stop looking! Okay. I think I've found just the thing. This is it. What's this? What do you reckon? It looks good. It's a yeah. symbol. It's made by a company called Auto Sleeper. Okay. They make a lot of motorhomes. It's British. Right. Okay, yeah. now I think what we should do is have a look inside. Come okay. on. Come on, Rich, in you get. What Ooh. do you think? Okay, this is nice, right? Nice? It, this is sumptuous. Okay, it's very nice. <laughs> well, what I like is actually, it's it, even though it's narrow, it seems to have everything, because some of those others I saw were really wide, but you wouldn't be able to drive them, would you? So, this oh, feels... Speak yourself. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to drive them. <laughs> um, this feels good because you've got you've got everything that most other away. fans have. Yeah. Most motorhomes don't yeah, come with a microwave. Yeah, something Got a decent nice fridge down room. there. Um, yeah, okay, and it has got a shower. It's I didn't expect that. Yep. Yeah, Laura likes her shower, as I mentioned earlier. So do you think this is the one that you would like to travel up to Scotland? Yeah, and spend it feels really there? good, yeah. Yeah, I can see myself. Right. But there's a yeah. problem, isn't there? <laughs> because you don't know how to fill up with gas, you don't know how to empty the toilet, you don't know how no. to put the water in, off no. the heater, make no. the bed, you don't even know how to drive no. the thing, you need help. I didn't even think about all this. Hey Rich, it's lucky I'm yeah. here. Okay. I'm gonna give you some tips and show you how to do it. So, join us in the next episode when I show Rich how to live in a motorhome. Are you up for that? Yeah. Me too. See you then.